Hey there folks, Lane here with Windows10Update.com and today I want to show you a couple cool tricks to help your PC boot faster. Now this first one is something I have explained in a previous video, uh, but just in case you missed that, just go into Task Manager and then you want to, now if you're seeing this, uh, this view, you want to click on More Details and then you want to go to Startup. And you may see a lot of different applications here, depending on what type of user you are. I'm a power user, so I have all kinds of things that boot up when my system starts up. That's what this startup tab is. Now, anything that you do not need, say if you don't use OneDrive storage, go ahead and turn that off. Uh, if you don't need Adobe Creative Cloud checking for updates every time, go ahead and turn that off. So, uh, and Steam, if you're a gamer, Steam, that, that can that's going to run in the background unless you disable this. Um, so disabling these applications that are, are showing as high or medium is going to help your system boot faster and it can also help it run faster. So make sure to have as few applications um, enabled here as possible. Uh, so next, we want to go into Control Panel. You can search here for Power Options and that's going to take you into this menu in Control Panel here. Now then you want to go to choose what the power button or choose what the power buttons do depending and you're going to see some interesting uh, features here. What we want to do is click on this here. You need to be an administrator. Click on that to enable, basically enable editing um, in here. Now, a lot of modern PCs like the Surface Pro 4 or Surface Book are going to have this option checked by default, but some PCs will not. If you do not see this checked, go ahead and check that. And what it's going to do is enable your PC to boot faster. There's some under under the behind the scenes magic going on there uh, to make that happen. Um, there is no effect on your battery life or anything like that. So I don't know why it's not turned on by default on some systems, but you definitely want to go ahead and check that out. Now, depending on what kind of system configuration you have, this may or may not be significant. Really, this is going to be most significant if you have a solid state drive, uh, but this can definitely help in any case. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.